Hey, Kellen, welcome back to the Sport International Hockey Academy, where today we're going to be talking about the pad save, but before we do, we'll take a look at that stance just like we did yesterday. Fantastic job of keeping your shoulders square and your head up here. I like your blocker positioning, but what we could do is tuck that elbow in just a touch, and that's going to cover a little bit of that gap, and it's also going to keep our stick right here in front of our five hole. Gloves in good position, but I want to see you rotate it out to the side just a touch more to cover a little bit more of that room right there. And the other thing is, we talked about this yesterday, but your upper body is coming over the top of your pads like this, your legs are coming down like this. Make sure we're getting down in that sitting in a chair position that we talked about before if i can draw a good chair here getting into sitting in a chair position that's going to help us keep that same amount of overlap but we get lower and what that's going to allow us to do is be a little more active across the crease we're going to take a look at your uh, butterfly here so when you drop if we dr if we bring it back just a touch do you see how your feet slide out to the side right here let me get there see how your feet are sliding out to the side what we want to do on our butterfly is we want to act like we're taking our knees and driving them into the ice as hard as possible. Don't move the feet, just drive those knees down into the ice. What that's going to do is it's going to keep the same amount of overlap. When we move our feet out and you get down in your butterfly like you do here, it opens up, right? Make sure you're just trying to drive those knees down in the ice. Keep that back straight up like you're doing. Just a little bit hunched over there. Got to keep that back straight up. Rotate this glove off to the side. Stick and blocker in good position, but make sure to tuck in that elbow to cover that gap in your armpit. We take a look at Coach Grenham here. He's demonstrating the second of the two options for glove positioning. We can have them down on our hips, and what that allows us to do is if a puck is in tight, covers all that gap down low. If the puck is out a little bit further, we push the hands out in front, and we can control any rebounds from there. You're going to stand up and we'll take a look at your first of two half butterflies. So on your half butterflies, do you see how you rotate your pads completely into the corner? I want to make sure our pads are staying straight, our shoulders are staying square, we're using our wrist and our head and a slight amount of shoulder turn to push this puck right over here in the corner. Should look just like this with Coach Gretham. As you can see, his shoulders for the most part are staying square to the shooter. They're a little rotated when you go cross body because you got to get that hand all the way across. But other than that, his glove is mirroring what his blocker's doing, and he's really directing that puck into the corner. Once he directs that puck to the corner and it gets right about here, we're going to take ourselves turn completely and push to that post, right? You're going to stand up and we'll take a look at your next one here coming to the other side so make sure once again you're turning your shoulders here and this other pads lagging behind just like coach Granham's doing right here let's keep those pads flat right out in front redirect into the corner and on our blocker side our shoulders can stay even more square because we should just be opening the wrist and doing a little push this way standing up we're going to take a look at your first of two two pad stacks nice job rolling into that we want to make sure our pads stay flat on top of each other so if we draw yours right here a little bit of a gap there right get those pads flat on top drive that elbow down or that armpit down into the ice stick out blocking the cross ice pass make sure that glove stays up right on top there you can stand back up and we'll take a look at your second one here coming to that other side let's take a look at it better job with the pads right a little bit closer that's what we like to see want to make sure the paddle of our stick is pointing up like this driving that armpit down into the ice nice job keeping your glove out there covering as much of that goal line as you can cover standing up we're going to take a look at your first of four shots going to the glove side first here let's take a look at them so pretty nice job there way to use the stick right get that stick out in front of us redirect those pucks all the way across the goal mouth preferably if we can get them in this corner that's where we'd like them but anywhere across the goal mouth is perfect especially up in the air right Second one, great job there again. Way to get it up there. Again, a very nice job. That one was a little bit harder right across the ice, sticking it right in that corner. That's what we're looking for. And the last one. So very nice work there. Make sure that we push our hands out just a little bit in front of you. That last one kind of deadened off your pads and it caused your stick to pop up like this. When that happens, we're never sure where that puck's going to go. So keep those hands out in front. Redirect them all the way across. Popping back up, we'll take a look at your ones to the other side here. So that's what I'm talking about. Do you see how this one hits your stick and your stick hits your pad and kind of dies a little bit? Right there. Make sure we're keeping our hands strong on our stick, putting those hands out in front and using it to redirect that puck right over there in the corner. Gets over there though, right? That's what we're looking for. Next one, using the toe there to get that one across. Nice job. Same thing there. Make sure that you're getting that stick out in front of you strong on that stick, using it to put those pucks right in the corner. And we'll take a look at the last one here. So a little bit of an early drop causing you to kick it out all the way up here. Make sure, once again, that we are using that stick, redirecting, using those half butterflies we just talked about. Take a look at your stance one more time for today. Shoulders are square and your head is up, which is fantastic. Gloves in great position here. That's exactly what we're looking for. Blocker's in good position, but let's tuck that elbow in just a touch. And then I like your overlap here, but as we talked about, you're over the top like this. With your legs coming down like this, make sure we get down in that sitting in a chair position that we've been talking about so far this week. That's going to allow us to open up our hips and be very active across the crease. Kellen, fantastic job today. You should be very proud of all the work that you put in. I look forward to seeing you on the ice tomorrow, okay?